guys, Skyrim here, and welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with me. Today I'm going against Steve Windy, a great battler, has a YouTube channel on his own, though sadly I didn't get it. So I hope that he sees this battle and uh, link his own channel, or I'll make sure that that actually, that actually happened. Nevertheless guys, uh, we have an RU wicket this time, and just have it said, I guess... Uh, since my channel is RU and you split, um, there's really like no difference. Most people are bringing in your stuff anyway, with a few RU, and I actually done somewhat the same. I did try to get as many RU pokes in my team as possible, though sadly RU is more, you know, sweeping, as uh, some sweeper pokes, which makes it somewhat hard to actually get a good, uh, like, uh, theme in your team. So I kind of had to mix it up. So nevertheless... Well, Excadrill on my team, Hillisk, Rapidash, Slurpuff, Glade, and Muna, uh, which is the new poke that I got from my team. It's a great poke. It's very, very defensive with, with a Calm Mind. Well, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nevertheless, and my Steve is bringing real cool stuff. Both Avalog, Prime Ape, Sceptile, Dusknaw. Slow King and Durant, which Slow King and Durant is the Ori pose on his team. I had no idea what it would stop with in the beginning, so I myself just went for Excadrill here and hope for the best, really. So now let's see how this goes. So was that right play? No. Not even once. He will actually start off with Durant, which makes me, you know, I do want to switch into Rapidash, but I knew that this guy has uh, Stone Edge. I don't want to risk it in case it goes directly for it. He doesn't do it, so I still go for knockoff, hoping that he will actually <laughs> try to escape, so I go for pursuit here. <laughs> he got the upper hand right away. I'm losing my Celgo, uh, my Skavaldier, which is a great um, wall to his team. So, really, really unfortunate, but I didn't want to switch into anything else. Uh, so, Rapid Dash will obviously take that one out, which is great, I guess. And now comes the wall, and well... It, there is really not much I can do, so I'm gonna go into my uh, Glade here just to get the knockoff off. I know what, that he might actually go for a will o -Wisp, but I'll just, you know, I'll just hope for the best here. So anyway, the will o -Wisp is coming there, like I expected. I'm, I'm still glad I got the knockoff off. I mean, Dusclop is really, really tough to actually take on. So I do expect him to go for my Nightshade here, so I'm gonna bring in my Muna. Uh, trying to actually bait him to go for... Another Will O Wisp, so I'm gonna switch into my Rapid Dash here, trying to get the Flash Fire. And he has, he has Curse. And it's awful. Uh, and I don't wanna risk him going for a Pain Split, so I can't really switch into anything else. I need to take this guy out. So I'm going for the Wild Charge, which I felt was the safest bet in case he actually decides to switch out. So now my Rapid Dash is below 50%, which is really, really unfortunate. And there's the Sceptile, and there's really nothing you can do against it. I'm just gonna bring my Glade here, which I know can resist a few hits from it. And, well, what can I do? I mean, I go for Drain Punch, see if I actually can recover more than I do than he does damage. I do not. So I decide instead to shut it down, which be in the knockoff and then die of the burn. Uh, solid play, sure. <laughs> but I mean, there's the other knockoff first, so now he's slow king. It's pretty much free to go. Uh, the only thing like actually taking him out is the Hillisk. So at this point I just decided, you know what, let's go for a few Calm Minds. So he has the Hidden Power Dark, which is what you probably can expect when you have uh, max IVs. So that's really fine, from my perspective at least. So I'm just gonna go for the Calm Mind, as I said there, and then after this I'm just gonna go for the Moonlight. You know, try to set up, I mean, I feel like I'm in a good position where I actually can stall him out here. So now I'm in a great position. I do expect him to switch out, so I'm just gonna go for another Calm Mind. And here is the Primate. So I'm thinking, you know what, this guy can hit me with whatever he wants, um, I'll just go into one shot for this range, and I am full defensive and HP, so I don't have anything to worry about. I fought. It has the focus sash. And that's annoying. <laughs> so yeah, he actually caught me off guard there, really, really unfortunate. Muna was probably one of the best walls there for his team, and he took it out like it was nothing. So then we're going to heal this just to, you know, do the coverage that I need to do. Uh, obviously not the safest play there, but then again, it wasn't scoffed at least. So here is the Bliss Shield. Love a vlog. I think it's a huge, a real cool poke. So I'm just going to go for a Calm Mind here again, and he will set up Curses. Um, I don't fear this guy. I mean, I am the special set, so I don't 
care much for damage here. I am full defensive with some speed EVs. And he'll go for the avalanche and he actually gets a crit here, which is annoying actually because it's not like going to matter a lot there, but it will put him in a better position. So anyway, going for flamethrower here. Uh, just hope that Sceptile came in, so really, really glad I pulled that one off. And here is the Slow King. And well, I was thinking, you know what, even though I don't take it out, I still can use Healy to take it out, right? It's got the freaking Trick Room, and now my Umbird is pretty much, you know, worthless. And since I don't have any super effective moves like Thunderbolt or Energy Ball, I don't have the necessary means here to take it on. So I'm just gonna leave it all to Hillelisk so actually be able to take a side shot from this range. And it cannot. <laughs> so yeah, he actually, I mean, tip, I tip my hat for you, Steve. This was definitely one of the most solid plays I've seen in some time. Uh, I couldn't cope with this uh, trick room here. Even though I went for Rapid Dash instead of Hillelisk here and tried to bait him for a Surf. Uh, or a scold, he still would have gone for side shock because of the range of damage that uh, the raptor has watched in this position. And even though if I have taken out the um, uh, slow king, it wouldn't actually have mattered because his avalog would still have been faster for at least two more turns, which would have been enough to go for an earthquake on both Hillisk and uh, yeah, obviously the rapid dash. So he had the game the second he put up that trick room. So, uh, <laughs> anyway guys, you know, as always, thank you for watching, I do appreciate the support, as always. Uh, I'll actually have one of the worst days yesterday. I had five battles, I had five losses. I didn't pull through at all yesterday, and make sure to check out uh, Just Me Wild's page for one of the most annoying battles ever. <laughs> I don't think I can let this go for quite some time, actually. Uh, but nevertheless, I do intend to, uh, you know, keep going for some semi RU uh, week here. <laughs> Obviously, it didn't turn out the way I planned because I simply don't have the means to use only RU. But nevertheless, um, you know, the football is starting. I did finish this recording. I'm glad. You know, and always, guys, don't forget to leave a like so I reach out to more people. That's all. And as always, thank you for watching. Have a good day, guys. <laughs>